Do you believe in ghosts? Well, today being Friday the 13th, you may want to consider your answer carefully because if you thought the Grateful Dead was just a band, you're in for a scary ride. But if you've seen Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel, then you already know about the paranormal investigators who use state-of-the-art technology, some tricks of the trade, and their own intuition to search out haunted locations around the world and find ghosts. And if you're new to these guys, you can see them work their black arts on the show's season premiere, which is tonight. And I'm thrilled, perhaps a little frightened maybe, to be joined by Zach Bagans and Aaron Goodwin, both from Ghost Adventures. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? Good. Now, like millions, I've been a little bit haunted by this question. Are there really ghosts among us? Uh, there are. And uh, crazily, it's something that I never believed in before. And uh, after you have that experience, yeah. it changes you. It changed my life. It changed Aaron's life. And there's a point in time where, you know, we accept that there are skeptics out there that don't believe in the existence of ghosts because I was one, Aaron was one. And until you have that experience, um, it's, it's a very powerful thing to happen. So but what we have to do now is keep digging deeper and listen to the ghosts because we communicate with them. So are you saying that you've actually seen a ghost? Is that what uh, made you believe in um, it? Yeah. We've so seen sure. ghosts, we've felt ghosts, we've been scratched by ghosts. They They're, follow us around. They <laughs> follow us around. And that's when it gets really creepy, Martin, is when they follow you home. Because when you go home and you go to bed and you wake up in the middle of the night and you see somebody sitting in the chair right next to your bed <laughs> that isn't a living person, then that's when it can get a little bit creepy. Now, you know that some people might think you are hallucinating, so what <laughs> is the most compelling evidence that you've ever come across for the existence of ghosts? Can you give us some kind of empirical evidence? We use a broad range of equipment. You know, uh, these days there are a lot of skeptics out there, and, and just by saying that you saw something or saying that you felt something just really isn't valid in itself to, to present to the world. Uh, using thermal imaging cameras that see in temperature, uh, using uh, electromagnetic energy detection devices, um, all of these scientific pieces of equipment to help support this evidence is what what we use. And uh, just recently, we did an investigation at Hales Bar Dam uh, where we nearly got killed by a tornado. Uh, but Aaron went up on a catwalk, and we were using this thermal imaging camera. It's kind of like predator vision. And uh, Aaron felt something went, go through him. Yeah, it went through my body. I, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack right there. I thought it was done. Mm -hmm. And uh, But the best part is, is on uh, the thermal imaging camera, we caught like this shadow coming out of me. and. It's right there. I felt it and we saw it. We captured it. That's why we use what we use. So, it was so a shadow Aaron, Aaron type something person. actually went through your body? Yeah, oh yeah. It's happened many times. Uh, I, I'm usually the one who gets picked on. <laughs> you don't get I've, picked on. You just attract <laughs> ghosts. Or a great piece of the do they, do they not myself? like men <laughs> with beards or something? What's the objection? I guess <laughs> not. I don't know. I'm not sure. No, but Martin, when, when, you, when you have a lot of emotions, uh, when you do a lot of supercharged emotions, when you show fear, when you get excited, when you get angry, you sweat, your, your body temperature becomes hot. This is all energy that we feel that spirits are attracted to. They feed off of. They feed off of. They use that energy then in return to manifest themselves. And this is the unique style of investigations that we do. And uh, like on tonight's episode uh, in Maysville, Kentucky at the Kentucky Slave House, um, the emotions started before we even start investigating with the people that we interview and just to see how emotional people uh, are affected by ghosts and their presences in the history is amazing. Zach Bagans and Aaron Goodwin, you've already frightened me, so let's call this off right now <laughs> while I'm ahead. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Martin. Moving on to something truly frightening.